Hey guys, this is Shaw Kirby 707, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And I gotta say, we have a change of plans, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, in this part we're not gonna go to the swamp. I forgot to mention, guys, that uh, Majora's Mask is a little different from Ocarina of Time, since Ocarina of Time is mostly story-based. But this game is different. It is mostly side quest based. Yes. <laughs> it is mostly side quest based. But anyways, um actually the first thing I wanna do is actually go through the bomber's hangout. Now if you remember the Kobe when you were a Deku Scrow, uh, something good will happen. I'm not really gonna do anything. Maybe I might get the moves here, but I highly doubt I'll get it, but but we'll see. But anyway, there's actually a lot of side quests in this game. At least 70% of it is all side quests, and the rest of it, the 30%, is story based. And. What the heck? Hey, guy, you haven't passed my test, so how do you know my secret code? I travel through time. <laughs> okay, anyways, no way but bummers know that code, so why do you know it? Listen, guy. You're pretty good. Oh, uh, thanks. I should figure out a call that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. What's your name, guy? My name is Skevin. Alright, that's go kid broke. Our Rosen is doing all kinds of stuff. I am making Skevin a new bomber with a member of the Bombers Gang instead. This is the Bombers Notebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, uh, the Bombers Notebook is really helpful for completing side quests in this game. So, if you talk to people, well, their faces will appear on the book. And if you complete the task, you will get, um, you will get um, items or rewards. So that is actually really cool. So, yeah. And certain side quests can be, um, done at certain times and certain days. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this game is mostly side quest based. So, we're going to be able to do a lot of side quests in between the story. So, to start off, we're not going to go to the swamp. I kind of... <laughs> went ahead and just said, we're going to the swamp, but no we're not. But anyways, if you come over here, there's actually a treasure chest that you really want to get every time you start the first day. So this contains a hundred rupees. And you could put this in your bank if you wanted to, so yeah. It's really, really um, good way to grind up some rupees. But, um, anyways, I actually did not want to leave. Actually, yes I do. I want to go to the west side of Clock Town. Um, in the west side of Claw Town, there's actually one thing that we could do, since we have money for it, so I think I might as well do it. So yeah, in the meantime, before we go to the swamp, we're gonna complete a lot of side quests, so you're gonna see, see me do that a lot in this playthrough, so this game mostly is side quest based, so it's not much of a story driven game, so yeah. Alright, so anyway, this is the Swordsman School, um, let's talk to this guy right here, he looks pretty cool. By the way, if you bang this gong, well, you should, or it's out of sword. Yeah, it doesn't really make a gong sound. Kind of, <laughs> but it's not very loud. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. This training center is really polite. 24 hour one-on-one -on -one training that would noticeably improve your story skills. From now on until the end of the carnival, we'll join at a special discount. So will you try it? Sure, we'll do expert course. Um, there's actually a hard piece if you complete the expert course perfectly. And what you have to do is attack the logs, but use the jump attack. Alright. Alright, make sure you target these logs, because it's very helpful. What you want to do is get a perfect score of 30. And if you do that, you will get a hard piece. So, but you gotta be kind of quick, because these logs do disappear. Alright. I should have targeted that. It's kind of hard to target. I don't know why, but the targeting doesn't really register on the logs very well. So... Yeah, it takes a, maybe a second delay for me to target the logs, but, uh, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, no, no, no. And get that one. There we go. 30. Aha. All right. Hmm, impressive. I must give you something here. And with that, we get heart piece number three, I think. And by the way, there are 52 heart pieces in this game. Yeah, that's a lot of heart pieces, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So anyways, we got that done. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, side quests. You know what? Actually, I might have to speed up time because there's not very many side quests that'd be done in the morning, but, yeah. 
yeah, you know what, I'm going to speed up time again or make it normal, so, yeah. But anyways, if you want to turn normal the time back to normal, you play the song of, the inverted song of time, and it will return the flow of time back to normal. So, yeah. Alright. And I do have my notes here just to check off any side quests, but yeah. Uh, let's see. We could go to... Actually, I checked out the shop real quick. We haven't really checked out this thing yet, but let's check it out just in case. Alright, and we got a person here. Let's talk to this guy. Welcome! Alright, let's talk to the shopkeeper. How about that? We're expecting to get our larger bomb bag back in stock pretty soon, but now that I think about it, it's already late. Okay. Well, anyway, this is a bomb shop. You can buy bombs, some bomb shoes, and we got a bomb bag. Yeah, very early in this game, you can buy bomb bags. And I'm gonna say, sure, why not? Let's buy it. Alright, and right away we got our first item. We got a bomb bag. So with this, we can plant bombs, so which is very nice. Awesome. So yeah, you get bombs this early in the game, which is really, really impressive. Alright, uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to do next, but there's not really much to do right now. Oh, blah, 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 blah. let's see, let's see. Well, we could go to the swamp, but I want to do some other stuff that is in Clock Town. Yeah, why not? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see, I don't think there's anything in North... Oh, wait, there is something in North Clock Town. I just forgot about that. There is something in North Clock Town. I forgot about that. I completely forgot. There is actually a hard piece in North Clock Town. And by the way, since you're human, you want to visit the Great Fairy. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. Man, it's been like, I don't know, a couple days since I recorded and I already forgot about this. Seriously. But anyways, um, Great Fairy says once you're human, you want to return back to her and you gotta get the fairy that's in the laundry pool. I completely forgot. Alright, well, let's go to the laundry pool. <laughs> And by the way, uh, we haven't really shown the mask yet, but anyways, you can wear a mask, but the transformative mask is a little different. Yeah, <laughs> that must have hurt a lot. But anyways, um, yeah, we wanted to go to the laundry pool to get the fairy, because that's the only way to talk to the great fairy, since her body is, well, scattered. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, let's avoid the dog, because apparently I wasn't watching the first ep- or second episode, and I got attacked by the dog. Nice. Alright. Yeah, there's not really much in the daytime, but the nighttime is mostly active of side quests, so... Yeah, I think I will speed up time, and then we'll see from there at nighttime, because there's a lot of side quests open at nighttime. In the first day, at least, for now, like, that was open to us. I mean, there are later side quests that will be open to us, but we don't have, like, the right items for us, so, yeah. Well, anyways, since we got the fairy back, let's go to the Great Fairy as a uh, normal being. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, I kind of choked there for a second. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Oh, we want to turn back to normal. I forgot about that. Alright, let's turn to normal, and let's talk to the Great Fairy once again. And this time she'll give us something different. Alright, her body's turning back to normal. And hello, Great Fairy, once again. Oh! Put some clothes on. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Tattling, you kind one. Thank you for returning my broken bag. Uh, yeah, yeah, we heard this before the first time we met. Alright, she's gonna, um, what you call it, heal us. And also something else. Alright, that's good. She healed my magic. That's pretty impressive. Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountain. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. And with that, we get a second mask. This is the Great Fairy Mask. If you wear it, stray fairies will fly to you when you wear it. You'll know when you're close to your fairy who is lost in the temple if the mask hair begins to shimmer. This mask, it might be hideous, but it's actually very, very helpful. Trust me, it is very helpful. <laughs> Especially if you're playing this game blind, which it was helpful for me when I played this game blind. Very, very helpful. Yes, indeed, it is. <laughs> Alright, so that is almost everything in North Clock Town that we could do for now. Um, 
On top of this tree right here, there's actually a hard piece that you couldn't get when you were in Ducky's Throw. And yeah, these bushes they do move, so do not worry about that right now. But anyways, hop on, to, on top of these ledges. And there is actually a hard piece right there that's standing right in front of us. So let's get this hard piece, and I think I'll contain or make a new hard container. So that's actually pretty good. And there we go, we made our first heart container. All right. So yes, of course, um, every four heart pieces will contain or make a new uh, a new heart container. <laughs> Jeez, I cannot talk today. Alrighty, so that is actually pretty much everything that we can do in North Cloud Town for now. Oh, uh, let's see. There's not really much that we can do in the daytime, so well, you know what? I'm gonna turn it to nighttime, so I think I'll be doing that right now. So, anyways, um, you guys are wondering how do I turn it to daytime or nighttime since we don't really have a song of passage for Ocarina of Time. Well, If you play the double time, the double song of time, I believe that's what it's called, song of double time, it will proceed 12 hours later. Well, at least to the next portion of the day, like, you know, to night time. Which is very, very helpful for completing certain um, side quests if you want to get it done faster. But yeah. But yeah, that's actually really helpful. Alright, so anyways, um, at the uh, night of the first day, there's actually a lot more side quests that are open. Um, if you go to the laundry pool, I believe so, there is actually a person that you'll be seeing, a familiar character. You hear that song, guys? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> well, look at this. It's this guy from Ocarina of Time, the crazy... I don't know what this instrument is called, but it's a music box thing with the little pinwheel on top of his head. But yeah, he is in this game. Yeah, in Majora's Mask, they reuse a lot of character sprites, so yeah. By the way, five rupees over here. Haha. -ha. All right, let's talk to this guy. See what he's up to. La la la. They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Oh, I know I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep up my mind off the bad. Ah, uh, yes, I'll do that. Dear guests, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why coulda, why coulda, why coulda man enjoy? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to incorporate the lyrics to the song, but apparently it doesn't really work. <laughs> they were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was that? Why was that? Why was the dog the leader? Was it cause something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's what I, that's what I, that's why I stole it. Them dog masks, I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. And with that, we get another mask. This is the Bremen mask. This mask belongs to the leader of the animal troop. Try parading it around tiny young animals. This mask... I love this mask. It's such a cute mask. I love it. But anyway, oh, his name is Guru Guru. So yes, um, after you complete a side quest, um, they will appear in your bonus notebook. If you guys don't know where it's at, you can just go to your star screen, and which we haven't really shown the star screen. But anyway, this is your items. This is the map. Right now we're in Clock Town. This is your quest status screen, and the bonus notebook is right here. But anyways, you can look at it, and you can see what um people you have met and what side quest that you completed. So if you got a ribbon next to it, that means that you complete the the task. So that's actually pretty helpful. And right here we got masks. So we got three masks. Awesome. And I do want to um, pluck this in. So yeah. <laughs> I love the Bremen mask. It's actually really, really funny. Which I'll demonstrate uh, right here. There's actually a dog here at nighttime. Which I'll demonstrate. I believe the dog's here at nighttime, if I'm correct. Yes, he's here. Okay. Come here, doggy. Alright, so anyway, you see that the B button has March on it. So if you're near the dog or any animal they will follow you. It is such a cute song. I'm sorry guys, but I love this song. It's actually a really cute song. <laughs> the Bremen mask is such a cute mask. It actually has more uses later on, which, oh my god, I love it. I love the Bremen mask. It's so awesome. Oh, by the way, I think at nighttime, I believe there is something that you can do around 8 p.m. Anyways, um, I want to talk to the postman that's in this place, in the post office. This is, can, it can be hard if you don't have the certain mask that you can use for this task. But anyways, let's talk to this postman. Four, five, Six. Yeah. Why? You startled me. 
Sorry, dude. Do not disturb my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of a mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Alright, so... If you don't have a certain mask by this time, it'll be easier if you do have this mask. But if you don't, well, it might be a little bit difficult. But it's actually possible to get it correct. What you need to do is count exactly 10 seconds. 10.0, yes. <laughs> so yeah, you have to count exactly 10 seconds, and if you do cor do it correctly, you get a hard piece. So, I'm going to say, yes, let's try without the certain mask that we need. Alright, so press A to start, count 10 seconds, in the precise moment you think you hit 10, sec 10 on the dot, press A again. Alright guys, I'm going to be quiet here so I can do it, so let's go. Dang it! <laughs> okay, come on. Alright, let's do it again, alright, I want to do it again. What? Two rupees? Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to try again, dang it. Alright, let's go again. I'm I'm just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try again. Nope. No, I don't. No, I'm not gonna waste my rupees on you, buddy. I'm sorry, but no. Alright, but anyways, if if we get this mask later on, it'll be very helpful. So I think I'll wait till I get the mask. But anyway, there's another cyclist that'll be open to us at nighttime. Let's talk to these ladies here. Yeah, the Rosa sisters. Um uh, they're at our notebook. Anyway, they're twin dancers. Um, there's actually something at nighttime outside of high or not high rose, not high rose. It's actually called well, no spoilers or anything, but yeah. Actually, can I talk to that person now? Well, anyways, if you try to go outside, this guard would be blocking you. So let's talk to him. Stop right there. Have you had an errand at the ocean? And yeah, we don't need to go to the ocean. But it, anyways, um, he recognizes that we have a sword, so we can pass through. All right. Alright, so anyways, welcome to Terminal Field. Alright. Yeah, this whole land is surrounded by Termina. Or, this whole area is called Termina. Not Hyrule, Termina. Alright. Oh, uh, anyway, we got new monsters here that we haven't seen. Orkery on time. And I don't think it's true yet, but we'll see. There's actually a person here that you can see, but... Um... I'm not exactly sure. No, he's not here. Okay, never mind. Forget what I said. But... Anyways, guys, I think I'll meet you guys at North Clock Town at midnight because there is actually going to be something that's going to happen at the, around that time. So, I think I'll meet you guys there since this video is kind of running a little bit long. I didn't realize that, but you guys will be doing more side quests <laughs> maybe until the next episode. So, yeah. So, I'll be waiting here until midnight. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, this is Shao Kirby 707 saying bye!